one of my favorite parts of fall is that I don't have to get up so early for sunrise. I've been thinking a lot lately about what makes the best photos that I've seen. The photos that make the biggest impact in my life and when I look at them I'm like I want to make a photo that has a feeling that makes me feel like that, that makes other people feel like that. I come out on this river a lot and I take a lot of beautiful photos of this river and they're not the best photos I've ever seen. They're pretty and I like taking them but they're far from the best photos I've ever seen. <laughs> So today I want to talk about what I've been thinking about how to take a better photo. Me, personally, how to take a better photo. Bring it here. Oh, 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 so, um, there you go. Oh, bring it here. Yeah. Puppy. Girls, what are we doing? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> We're going to get wood. Again! Because our house, it's so cold in the winter that if we just use electric, our electric bill is $500 a month, which is outrageous. So instead of doing that, we buy wood, which is cheaper. And what's really cheap is when you can go into the woods and get it for free, which is what we're doing today. Be riots in downtown Big Fork if uh, the candidate of choice doesn't win. What's the candidate of choice here, you think? Uh, I couldn't tell you, babe. I don't know. Makes you nervous. Yeah, I don't like conflict. <laughs> Key is to find state land or federal land that's legal to cut trees down on, like uh, like this piece. And maybe that tree, maybe it's rotten. The problem with the last tree was that it was rotten, and the problem with getting firewood for free is that you have to look for a really long time. So an hour later, I think we found one. Quick etiquette here. Whatever way it starts falling, you go to the side. Okay? Here we go. Look at that. Perfect. So now, uh, truck's here. All we gotta do is cut it, get it back in the truck. What's going on here? Videoing. You're just videoing? You're making your own video too? Yeah. Nice. Hey. Okay, that's it. Cut our wood for I don't know, like three days, not very much, <laughs> but we're going back to the house. All right, so in between kayaking and going and getting wood, I spent a couple hours looking at the photos that impacted me most, and the artists that I thought did the best job with the best photos that made me really think are Gordon Parks, Dorothy Lang, Ryan McGinley, and Fred Herzog. Now that's just a few, there are other people, but these photographs from these artists are the ones that really spoke to me. And a few of the things that I noticed right off the bat were all of these artists were more than 10 years into their career before they were considered great. All the photos that really impacted me were 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years into their career. So that means that they went through the entire process of thinking of an idea for a photo, shooting that photo, going back, reviewing it, trying again and again and again until they got like, I don't know, it's only a handful of photos of theirs that impact me the most. So it took them years 
before they were considered great. And for me, that means that it's gonna take me a lot more than the five years I've been shooting photos. Another thing that I noticed about the photos is that almost all of them include people. I think what really draws me into the images of these people is that I empathize with the experience that they're having or I'm curious about the life that they're living. And I typically have been a landscape or adventure photographer and shoot people in big landscapes, but this really makes me want to experience uh, shooting people more and, and try and find that emotion that other people can empathize with or be curious about. And the final thing that I found that all of these photos that impacted me had in common is that they took some sort of access to create. Like Gordon Parks was on assignment for Life magazine and Dorothy Lang was on assignment for the government. Ryan McGinley, he's not on assignment, but he gets all of his friends involved in his art project and he has collaborators who come in, usually get naked or <laughs> do something else crazy that he couldn't have done if he was just wandering around with a camera. Now, I don't have a badge, I'm not on assignment for anybody, but a friend told me that the best excuse to get people to open up and allow you to do things they wouldn't otherwise allow you to do is to say, I'm on a student project and use that as your excuse, which, I mean, we're all kind of students, right? We're always learning something. So I plan to use, I'm on a student project or a student assignment, would you let me come in and shoot your I don't know, your life, your job, your hobby, anything that might be too personal for them to just let any photographer in. It gives me an excuse. So that's what I've been thinking about lately and how I can take better photos and I hope it was helpful. I'm thinking about upgrading the lights here in the studio because I have, uh, I just have that one big light and then I have like the overheads and then that little light and I have some Christmas lights that I plug in over here, but I kind of want like that big soft feel. So I'm thinking of putting a ton of lights up here because I have this pile of just twinkle lights. So you think it's going to look junky? It's going to look cluttery. If we go like this way and then mm -hmm. this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think of the plan? Taking this whole thing and putting it up there. Yeah? Sure, it's easy enough to try it out. Okay, let's do it. Catch! Come on, catch! Um. Yeah! Making this studio just a little bit better every single time keeps me super into this space, which is pretty cool. I mean, look at it, it's just got a nice little, little cast, little interest cast right there. But that's all I had for this episode. So if you like these kind of episodes, uh, you can subscribe or like it, whatever. I know you know that already. You're a smart person. I bought a $7 snowboarding video game for my Xbox 360, and Isla's been asking me all day if she could play it. So, uh, yeah, bye. That's it.